What's going on with you music producers? My name is Curtis King of Curtis King TV. And today I have a bit of a microphone review slash fingers crossed. I hope that this USB microphone solves many issues in one and a video that I'm going to be doing about the Apogee hype mic that's been out for quite some time. There's many different videos on it that's going to do walkthroughs. This won't be necessarily a walkthrough per se, but I kind of want to explain my dilemma as a streamer and why I'm hoping that this can be the solution to the issues that I've been having. Let's talk about it. Okay, music producers, first and foremost, let me just say thank you for clicking on this video today. If you find it to be helpful, definitely hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel. Now, let me explain my dilemma. As a YouTube streamer slash music producer, I like to make beats on a regular basis on my YouTube channel. I do it every Tuesday and Thursday, usually at 4 p.m. Pacific time. That being said, an issue that I've been having with multiple audio interfaces when it comes to OBS is getting them to play well with each other, not not just be heard, but also have it in sync with my videos. So the reason it's going in and out is because I had to find a workaround using a program called ASIO Link Pro that basically routes my microphone, which is inputted through FL Studio. It routes it from FL Studio as well as the music being played in FL Studio to OBS using their internal situation. And then I'm basically using a program to reroute the audio into OBS. You're probably asking, well, what's the big deal with that? The issue I have with that is that between my FL Studio projects loading, there's sort of just this awkward silence on my stream and I'm just looking at the camera like, Got away. I knew that a USB microphone would be a good workaround. My thing is, I just don't want to lose audio quality and I don't want to put too much wear and tear on my computer in terms of all the different plugins that I have to open up. Like, I don't want to open up any compression built into OBS. OBS has enough issues sometimes just making sure that I'm transferring all of these devices and information over the internet. But what I love about this hype mic so far, and I'm actually recording this video using the hype mic, is that it has has built-in analog compression, which is something that you just typically don't see with USB microphones, which explains why, you know, usually for a USB microphone, you're looking around, I've bought many different ones. So I'm looking around 70 bucks to like 120 maybe for like a podcasting USB mic. This one is about 300 plus, about 350 last time I checked. Obviously, you know, you, you wanna see all the things that come along with it. And I think by the end of this video, you'll understand one, why it's that much, because when you're just listening to the quality alone, it's definitely, you know, in line with some legendary microphones that have come from Apogee, as well as some crazy little blend modes with the headphones in case you want to use this sort of as your audio device. We'll look at all that stuff and then I'll kind of give you a conclusion after that. So let's go straight to the microphone because I want to show you some of these crazy options that are on the microphone. See you in just a second. Okay, so here we are now in front of the hype mic. I'm a little bit of a distance away, but I just at least want to show you some of the controls on here just so you can understand everything that comes along with it. Now, first and foremost, if you did not know, you can use a lightning cable that actually comes along with it in the package that allows you to connect this straight to your iOS device so that you'll get crispy, crispy, clean audio straight to your iPhone. So I thought that was a pretty dope feature. Not something I would necessarily use, but just thought I'd mention it. So here's obviously your gain knob to turn the volume up. And I have some on-screen recording, so you're able to check that out as well. I'm gonna actually turn this up just a bit, just so that I can be heard from this distance. And you can see these lights that are going off that are basically showing you you know, if you get too crazy, then it gets start gets in the red here. Yep, now we're in a red. Okay, so we're pulling that back now to a good little level. Cool. Okay, now that we have that, first thing I want to draw your attention to is these headphone modes, these blending modes that basically tell how much you want the headphones to pick up your voice as maybe you're recording something with music in the background, how much you want the music to blend in or how much you want mostly your voice or you're not having your voice at all. Some people like recording with their voice and hearing it in the headphones. Some people don't. I actually love it. And because of that, Turn this gain down just a tad bit. I usually have it on its first option. So you can go to different options. I usually have it there. Or if I have music coming in, then I'm gonna yield to the second option here, which is kind of like a nice little blend between the both of them. So that being said, this gain knob also doubles as a compressor in that if you click on it, 
you're gonna see it first kind of turn purplish pink. That's one type of compression. And you probably can already hear it within the microphone right now. Let's go to the second one. Second one is a little bit more aggressive, obviously. And then the third one is just gonna smash that vocal. Super crazy, right? Like you gotta understand how having Apogee, which obviously does a lot with analog gear and has software that works a lot with the analog compressions, it's important that you have them behind that. A lot of these microphones are made with really novices and hobbyists in mind. This is definitely made with a vocalist or a professional vocalist or podcaster in mind because this compression is actually super dope. I don't feel like I need it right now because of the nature of the video, but it's good to know that you have these different characteristics. If I did use one, I probably would use the first option, but super dope. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward, plug and play. As soon as you plug it in, you can basically use it as its own interface. It has its headphone jacks under here. The only thing extra that I bought for this was just this USB down here that extends to my computer because the USB cord that came along with it was a little bit too small for me to make the connection. I ended up buying a super long USB that connects to my computer. All in all, the last thing I guess I'll show you is they got the little teeny weeny, little teeny weeny microphone pop filter, which is super dope. But outside of that, super dope. All right, now that we have this, let's go ahead and test this out in OBS and see what we're working with. Okay, so now here we are, we're here on the computer and I already set this up as an input in OBS. Another issue that I was having that I didn't mention earlier, besides my microphone pretty much being held hostage <laughs> through this process, whenever I'm switching between projects, because basically I have my microphone here as an input, as you can see when I activate this here. If this program goes out, that microphone goes out. Or for whatever reason, you know, it freezes, the entire stream has to wait for me to get my microphone back. And I at least want to have a backup. This can pose as a backup. Right now, I got two different microphone stands on the same desk. I know this may be super complex for somebody who's like, I just want to see if the microphone works. I get it. But I got to explain this to my streamers out there how important this is. So we got an input going in here from this microphone, which is super dope. And here we actually have the mic, the audio coming from the audio settings in ASIO Link Pro. Now, as I have it here, my driver for ASIO Link Pro is still set to the Apogee. So everything in here is going to work as such. Now I can record vocals using my Newman, but then using this microphone, the hype mic as my narrator microphone on OBS. So everything is coming in clear. I just kind of want to test it out. Let's go ahead and just start a recording. So let me turn down this microphone on the background. Okay, so this is a test to see if the hype mic is looking pretty good, if it's in sync, if it's not, we'll see. That's that one. Let's go ahead and click this one, turn this off, but turn this one up. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Okay, I think we're good. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, this gives me the opportunity to use two microphones at the same time in the event that this one that is going inputted into FL Studio, you know, FL Studio, sometimes will crash, things happen. I can always have a way to communicate with my community straight here through OBS. So my live stream is not just sitting there twiddling their fingers like I hope he gets it together. That's super dope. The fact that I can still use this one and actually the same issue didn't look too bad um it just comes along with doing so many different things with the elgato stream link that's a whole nother video but so shout out to the good folks over at apogee for this hype mic i really appreciate it it gives me a great opportunity to still communicate with my stream as well as get a really clean audio and then also add compression on it so if you're looking for more information on it definitely go down to the description below to get more info on it this hype mic is definitely don't do it curtis don't do it it's worth the hype <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, music producers, thank you for watching today's video. If you found it to be helpful or even slightly confusing, but you still liked it, hit us with a like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, you won't be full of life until you decide to live life to its absolute fullest. Once again, it's Curtis King of Curtis King TV. Have a good one. Peace. Look up, Nazi. Say cheese. <laughs>